Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about all the content that went down. Future Stars set to day number one. We got new objectives, new SBCs, a new set of cards and packs. And then we actually just got Man of the Matches that went into packs as well. I'm gonna talk about those and show you guys those cards here in a second. And then obviously talk about the market and what happened today. There were plenty, plenty of market movements today. We had some panic selling. We had some cards rise with link investments. Um, and of course, we're going to be, I think we're going to be attempting the uh, overnight flipping from um, Friday night into Saturday with some of these new FFS cards because they have dropped down low enough and they're still pretty rare that I think it could be profitable overnight tonight, Friday night into Saturday like we usually do. So I want to go through that and look through some of those cards as well but i want to look at the team first that came into packs today and even talk about the timeline a little bit for these cards future stars set number two holland martinez by the way extremely overpriced but i kind of understand wh why those prices are there it's the first day of course um but these guys are like tots cards man Howland and Martinez look like team of the season cards to me. Even Valverde looks like a really solid card. So those are the three headliners from this promo. Uh, but I'm going to talk through some of the rest of these guys. Olmo looks nice. I think Sar, of course, we just had Daniel James. I think it's going to keep his price a little lower since all the right mids in the Prem uh, are getting killed right now. Hudson Adoy is nice. We now have a Brazilian left mid, future star, and an English one with Martinelli and Hudson Adoy. Valverde is cool. Palacios and... Um, Telemans didn't get dynamic images for whatever reason. This card right here really interests me. I'm going to talk about this for a second. Um, Tamori, 700,000 coins. Uh, it probably is going to be back up over 700, maybe 750 by the time we get to midday UK time. Because I think a lot of people want to try this card. 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 85 defense, 85 physical. Medium, medium work rates. Not the best, but it's okay. The stat here that is interesting though. 94 agility 94 agility on a center back unbelievable he's got 80 aggression you probably want to boost that up you probably i would say if you're going to play tamori you might want to throw a sentinel on him boost up the, the defense and the physical as much as you can but overall this squad is, is fantastic i mean for these future stars the upgrades again just like last year they have done a fantastic job player selection i think has been really good as well ikone this card, I think, is uh, worth looking at and worth talking about. 94 pace, 92 dribbling, 4-star, four 4-star, four and he's got 99 agility. So this card fits the meta perfectly, in my opinion. 86 stamina, even 75 aggression isn't bad. 89 composure as well. So this card looks like a beast center attack in mid that you might try to play alongside of some guys like a Ben Yedder, you know, linked to an Mbappe, a Ben Yedder, nice little triangle up there up top with these guys. That could be... That could be cool. I think this card's price is going to stay pretty high because of that. Lodi is cool. Luis Felipe is a really nice looking center back. Come to think about it, we've gotten a bunch of really nice center backs during this promo. So let me guys let me know from you guys down in the comments how you feel about this team. But I think this team is pretty sweet. And uh, that was uh, definitely one of the highlights of the day. I think the best piece of content that we got today was this objective though right here. Foot Future Stars Academy Osaman. What an absolute monster this card is. 88 rated with the, the fourth upgrade card, of course. It is a little bit grindy. Of course, these last two objectives at the end, you have to score in seven or nine separate rivals wins. You have to score with this card. And in seven separate wins, you have to score with, you have to score two goals. So basically, if you score two goals in seven wins, and then you win two more games and score just one goal, then you get this Osaman card at the end. And the other stuff is pretty easy, but you do have to do it in rivals. So hopefully you can find some guys that'll help you out, you know, see them do, using the Osaman card. If you see them doing Osaman, all right, send them a quick message. Send them a little PSN message and say, hey, how can we get this thing done? All right, because a lot of these you don't need wins. So, hey, you, you need two assists, I got you. You need a low driven shot, I got you, all right? Just help, your, help people out when you do this objective. I think I'm going to do this one because this card looks freaking dope. Um, I did the um, his player of the month version from earlier on in the year. That card was a beast. So I can only imagine what that uh, the new Future Stars Academy uh, Osaman feels like. Also today, we had a Kieran's here in the SBC. And this caused like some of the most market panic we have seen in a while. A good value SBC really, really can affect this market. And this SBC did that today. 
Is this a good value? It's kind of on the edge. In my opinion, it's a really solid card. It will look at the stats, high, high work rates. Um, this is a perfect guy that you can play up and down the wing. He's got the pace. He's got the stamina. He's got pretty solid um, defending stats. 89 aggression will probably make him feel pretty good when tackling the ball. So a lot of people are doing this SBC today, and it's pretty evident that a lot of people are doing it because of some of the panic that we saw on Premier League left backs today. This Digne card, right? Brand new card out in headliners. Set to today, he was 194, 200,000 coins before the content drop today. Dropped down to 156. I was able to snag one on a snipe at 145. He has rebounded back up to 165 since then. So that was a GG. Thanks uh, EA for putting out the Tierney. So there was some panic on that. There was also some panic on Robertson. And I bought some of these as well. I actually bought the team of the year nominee. My thinking was, okay, he's a lot cheaper than Tierney. This might get panic sold, but I think it should rebound back up. He has actually stayed down. I just took some losses on him because I want to buy some other stuff. Um, but sometimes that's the name of the game, right? The thing that really hurt me with this Tierney and with the Robertson was this Tierney SBC is out for seven days. It is out for an entire week. You can have a chance to do this SBC. So that's going to keep those other left backs in the Prem kind of in check. For the next few days, I think you might see them trickle up in price a little bit, um, but I think that this SBC is going to keep them down low. If you want to try to buy some of these, they will rise, you know, like the Robertson, the Digne, they will eventually rise back up a little bit. I would just be careful with doing that because of the, the fact they got panic sold and because that SBC is out for seven days. I think we had a pack supply SBC as well, but that was kind of it for a lot of the content today. But it was a solid day of content, right? A really nice objective card, a really nice, um, you know, properly priced SBC, and then cool cards and packs. Great, um, great, I think, player selection for these cards that are in packs. I'm a fan of those. But one thing that I want to talk about as well is EA dropped the bomb on us again. Like, what is it, 2 a.m. UK time, an hour and a half ago, they dropped man of the match cards in foot again they did this last year and they never told us and it looks like they're doing the same thing again this year they're dropping man of the match cards and they're not telling us about it they don't even tweet it out bro we have to figure it out by people on twitter and people in the game sending screenshots of themselves packing these cards that are now in packs and naki williams got one saint maximin got one you got a striker positioned man of the match card 82 rated and they're both extinct right now at 50k. I was able to catch a couple snipes, which was a GG. I was happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't do this too often, to be honest. Like, wait for the price range to be updated. But these Man of the Match cards are gonna be pretty rare. They're only in packs for four days. These are some of the best cards to trade with on foot. So, um, I think Anaki Williams could be 75 to 80k with the price range update. I think St. Maximum might be 100,000 coins. If you guys did the ones to watch St. Maximum and SBC, Early on in the year, you finally got your upgrade. So those are two of the guys that were in. Of course, Deli Ali as well got in. So if you had the headliner version of Deli Ali, that card got upgraded. Uh, and I will show you mine here in a second. But as you can see, these guys are pretty rare. I would not be super surprised if I saw these guys jump up in price a little bit in the morning. Deli Ali, if I see him around like 80,000 coins, maybe... Yeah, 80k, I would get really interested in this card. Of course, these man of the matches don't get dynamic images, uh, but he got a pretty sizable upgrade from his inform. Uh, he got like plus three pace. So I'll show you the Deli Alley headliner card. Hopefully you guys, if you did this SBC, GG's, I was not expecting this upgrade to be honest. I was expecting maybe Deli to get an inform somewhere down the line, but he picks up a man of the match card because of their win over Southampton and the assist that he provided to basically win the game. Uh, and he gets a pretty solid upgrade. Again, I said this on Twitter a couple days ago. Those one stats, bro, the 79s, the 89s, when it's a 9, right? If it's like one stat away from being upgraded to break into a new level, right? 80 pace, we said this a lot in, you know, guys on foot. 80 pace looks so much better than 79 pace. You know, if they would have given him just, just one more pace, that would have looked sick. I said it earlier this week with Tellez. Because they upgraded Tellez and they didn't give him 90 pace and 90 pa or passing, 90 pace and passing. I really wanted to see that because that would make his card look elite, right? But they gave him 89, 89, so that kind of sucks. Don't get to see the 90 rated stats on your card, but it is what it is. Uh, those were that's like the basically a rundown today for the new cards. 
and the new content. Now, I wanna talk more trading related stuff. First, let's start with the panic selling of the left backs just to, again to check this out for a second. Robertson today, um, I was watching him drop down a bunch and I thought, you know what? I think he's gonna go to about 100K and then I should be able to pick him up and I think he'll go back to like, you know, 110 to 115 tonight. The man is still down at 95K. Again, this is an out of packs card that is getting panic sold. A lot of times this triggers an alarm in people and they're like, yo, I should buy in the panic sell, right? And I think in this case, you can. If you want to pick up yourself a Robertson for the team, this isn't like an investment if you only have like, you know, 20 or if you only have like 200 to 300K, I wouldn't go and pick up two or three of these and put all your coins into this because you're going to be waiting a week probably for this to rise back up into the profitable range. But if you're somebody who has over a mil, this is almost like a club stock investment, I would say. Try to get yourself a Robertson this weekend while the Tierney SBC is out. Maybe you snag one on bid, right? I saw a bunch of open bids expire today in the 80s, the 80K range, after I was already broken these cards and, and broken other cards that I was flipping. Maybe hop on some bids, low 90s into the 80s for this Robertson card. That could very easily be back to 110,000 coins by the end of the week, since this is like half the price of that Tierney SBC. So... I do think this card has a potential to rise. Um, one card that we did see rise today was this Digne card. Uh, this Digne headliner, I got a snipe on him at 145,000 coins today during the panic, and he is back up to 160K. So that was a nice one. It rebounded, I think, because he's more of a live item and he's French, so he does have better links. And I think that is going for him a little bit more than Robertson does uh, just with the links. So that's why I was happy with this Digne buy today. I thought 145 was too cheap, and it was. I'll probably try to get this out tomorrow, maybe around 170 if I can. It's on my transfer list right now. We'll see what I can do with that. But I want to take a look at these future stars again because this is something that we do a lot of times on the first day of a promo. We start looking at, hey, are these cards going to be flippable overnight uh, from Friday night into Saturday? And that's a lot of times where we're looking at these cards because they're still rare. And uh, a lot of people want to try them out. You wake up on Saturday, you've got uh, foot champs to play, right? You got foot champs to play. You got these cards that are going to be in packs next week when you open your rewards. So you want to have a shot at packing one of these cards. So you're going to play your weekend league games, right? So looking at a few cards right now that I'm seeing are getting pretty low. Now, this might not be the case when you guys are actually looking at these. But again, I want to look through some of these drops in price today. I'm looking at Tamori right now. Again, when you're looking for these overnight flips, and this is something that you guys can learn to do on your own, um, just by observing price trends and knowing what happens when a promo when a promo is out, when there's new hype cards in the game, cards that people want to try and that easily fit into their squads, right? This Tamori card, English, center back, Prem. A lot of people can fit this into their teams. They're running a Prem side. This guy right here is 700K at the moment. He was 750K for most of the evening. He's dropped 50K. He was actually at 685 at one point. I think this could easily go back to 750 because, again, of this 94 agility. The stats that this card has sets him apart from a lot of others in this game. So I'm really interested to see how this stuff rebounds into the morning when you guys start to watch this video. If you're watching this video and these prices are still low, which they could be, um, you know, maybe it's something where you can get involved it with, with. But again, when we're looking for these overnight flips, first day promo into day two, we have to look at supply. Supply of these cards is the number one major thing that makes these flippable. And look at Tamori. At 750K, the man has two pages. That's it. The man is two pages right now at 750K. Now you can expect that supply to increase a little bit as we get into the daytime. There's only 3.8, 3.9 million transfers right now. You can expect that to increase a little bit. So maybe there'll be four pages of Tamori tomorrow, but his price is going to be rising as people want to use this card. So the fact that this card is under 700K really interests me. I think it could be at 750K easily in the morning. And if I see this guy at like 675 or 685, I might pull the trigger there. Another, his counterpart, Hudson Adoy, the other Chelsea player in this squad, is currently, uh, I think, like 530K. Wow, he's back up a little bit. He was just 525, now he's 535. This card really interests me as well because he was upper 500s for most of the day. And if you look at his supply at 590K, the man has one page at 590,000 coins. So I kind of see this as like a Martinelli-esque flip for tomorrow. 
I might try to snag one if I can get one at 520. I could be very interested in that. And again, another one that I'm interested in, just by the sheer uh, newness of this type of card and the possibility for links that you have with this, Danny Olmo. This card really interests me at uh, 200 and like 80, 270K. He's got a little bit more supply, but I think this card could easily be 300K in the morning, uh, which is only a 15K rise technically. But if I see this guy dip down below 280, which I think I just saw one at like 284, if I see this guy at like 270 something, I would be very interested in this. Really solid card, four star, four star, links to Timo Werner. He is also Spanish, so you can link him to a lot of your, your Spanish guys in your squads. A lot of people rock Spanish. So I think this card looks like a good one to me. And then I want to even check out Luis Felipe because I haven't looked at this card too much, but he is a Brazilian center back in this game. And this card also looks pretty freaking nuts. Luis Felipe's card looks insane. He's like 270K ish right now. But look at this card's in game stats, bro. Stamina is the only thing that he has missing from this card. Composure is a bit of an issue. Agility and balance isn't terrible for a center back. His work rates are spot on. He's got a three star weak foot, which isn't terrible. And he's got pace, right? But if you throw some stamina on there, Brazilian too, man. We've had so many Brazilian. We had a Brazilian right back. We have a Brazilian left back in this promo. Um, we had Emerson and Renan Lodi. So I'm a fan of these Brazilians. A lot of people are rocking Brazil in the back lines right now. So this is why I think this card could be a decent one this week with some hype uh, centered around it. And then the other guy that I'm really interested in is this Ikone. Um, I'm probably not going to end up buying one of these because I think his price is too high already. He's 290K. You know, and I don't really see how this card really goes back up past like 320 or 330, but I think there's a lot of people that want to try this card out just because of the links that it gives. Think about this, right? You got Ben Yedder at right striker, you got this guy at center attacking mid, and you've got Mbappe at left striker. What more do you need in a team? The three French guys up front, 94 pace. This guy's got really solid passing. The 99 agility, though, is this guy's going to be able to turn circles around so many people with these kind of stats. He's got 92 dribbling, 90 ball control, good stamina, decent aggression as well. 75 aggression for a, a center attacking mids, not terrible, especially for a little guy like him, five foot nine. I think a lot of people are interested in that card right there. So look for these overnight flips. You can even do some of the overnight flips with some of these uh, man of the match cards. And this is something for the future you guys could look at as well with man of the matches. Um, when you see them, I'm going to add this to the transfer targets real quick. Don't mind me. There we go. But when you see some of these man of the match cards overnight, the first night, as I said, uh, Inaki Williams and our boy St. Maximum Gucci headband uh, are extinct at the moment because there's just not a lot of supply for them. And um, their price range is at 50K, which is too cheap. But for somebody who who is not extinct, like Deli Ali at the moment, of course, he does have a few other special cards, so this might not work the best with him, but um, you have an opportunity to flip these cards from the late night into the early time UK as well. If I see this card, he's 84K, man. If I see him at like 75 to 80K, I'm going to get interested because this inform is a 70, it was like 50 something K, 55 or 60K today after the weekend league rise before this 87 came out and he got a plus three boost, right? The only other better version of Ali in the game is the scream card and that costs like 150 160,000 coins so if this card hits half the price oh I'll take that I'm gonna take that Deli Ali and see if I can snag like 90k for it tomorrow morning all right so that's we're gonna try to flip some man of the matches into the morning tomorrow uh, Deli Ali being uh, the one that's probably the most risky I guess because he's not extinct and he's not getting that price range update so I think this card's a decent flip if you see him at like 75k We'll see how that works out uh, on the market. But again, these cards have kind of a middle of the road, but also kind of cheap as well. Not cheap, but kind of middle of the road pack supply. 2.8% from the 100K packs, same as the first set. And these cards, again, are out for seven days. I'm going to make my prediction right now and make it loud and clear. This week, we are going to get the mid 
Icon SBC. While these cards are still in packs, so EA can entice people to go do those SBCs. Of course, they're going to try to sell you with you're getting packs back from the SBC. If you need to open FIFA points because you've drained your club by doing the SBC, then you're still going to have the opportunity to pack these cards. So that's why I think that since this promo is now a full seven days instead of the second week being only four or five days, I think they're going to drop the mid icon SBC this week, drain everybody's coins and get everybody thinking about icons again before we have prime icon moments in basically another week from this coming Friday. So like two weeks ish prime icon moments, I think is going to be here. And I think that is something that EA, they got to transfer everybody's thought process over to icons, right? We just got all these future stars. They want people to buy them, put them in their teams. Then they'll release the mid icon, crash the entire market and then drop icons that are super duper expensive. So we'll talk about that when it all comes, but I think that mid icon SBC is coming this week. So I wanna talk about some trading tips in my videos tomorrow to get really specific because I've been making some coins with these new FFS cards because they are they are rare, right? A lot of these set one rows today out of packs. Uh, these were all traded with chem styles. So I'm gonna be talking about trading with these cards with chem styles in tomorrow's video most likely. Uh, and that one is going to be a good one because it's been a pretty solid coin maker for me. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.